Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Cameron Abbasi here, and I'm here with my business partner, Kamal. And today we're going to talk about one of the key aspects of building your network marketing business and creating a massive momentum in your organization. And but most importantly, creating that duplication and leadership that you need in order to have a massive momentum in your team and in order to have that financial and at the same time the time freedom that you deserve. Now, how the how is it going to happen? How are we able to create a duplication in our team? And how are we able to create momentum in our team? That's only by recruiting professionals and that's only attracting like-minded people and attracting people who are born leaders, guys. Now, how is it possible to do? There are two ways. One is the hard way and one is, one is a smart way. Okay, now hard way, 95% of the network marketers already do. So today I'm going to teach you guys the smartest way of doing that. And that is something that I've been personally doing for the last few months. And I've been having so much success in the business, guys. Which, and the, today's topic is called recruiting professionals. So let me write it down for you guys. I hope you guys can see this. It's called recruiting professionals. Now, one of the keys over here, I've, I've, I've seen myself personally in the uh, in last three, four, five years I've been in network marketing. I've seen the majority of the people, they hesitate contacting people who are highly successful or who are successful or who are in fact Forget on successful who are even doing better than them. So and, and when people are, for example, 95% of the people, when they ask to go, for example, when they get started in the business, they ask to do the normal job which every network marketer does. They ask to make a contact list and guess what happens? They make a contact list and they make a contact list of the people who are you know who are lower, socially economically lower than them, who are down socially economically, rather than those who are up socially economically. And why do they do that? Because they hesitate contacting people who they think are more successful than them, uh, than them are, they are themselves. So what happens by doing that, you know, what we simply do is we are missing out on key people and people hesitate to contact people who are successful. Now myself personally, uh, I mean I love, I, I love to speak, I love to go out and speak and recruit and prospect people who are highly successful, who are from professional backgrounds and there are some reasons behind that guys. Now we, we have got two kind of markets out there. Now I'm not telling no one to prejudge anyone, okay, because this business we can we will show this to anyone and everyone. But imagine we have two choices right now. We have a choice to recruit a professional and we have a choice to recruit a chicken. Who's gonna be mourning every single day about everything that, that's what's going on in the company and this is and um, how to I mean how to recruit people. He's gonna be there'll be so much learning. I mean you have to spend so much time teaching that person, or oh, you can recruit someone who's already professional. Let's Say someone like a mortgage broker, someone like um, you know, someone like insurance, someone who's selling insurance, for example, or someone who's a real estate agent, you know, or maybe uh, people who are from professional backgrounds, maybe a doctor or solicitor, people like them, a lawyer. Now, these kind of the people are the people who are, who are already leaders. They're managing things, okay? They're managing. They're having massive. Open, they, they have influence on the people, okay? They have massive networks, and they are they are you know they think up, you know, and they are they're open-minded people, and we want to recruit people who are open-minded because. What happens? These people have got a skill set because they communicate with people on a daily basis. So we don't have to teach them how to communicate pe with people. They know how to do that because they, they do that for the living. And imagine the majority of the people. Let's take example of insurance broker or let's take example of real estate agent or maybe a mortgage broker. Now these are the people who I mean they, I mean they do their I mean uh, they get paid for selling. You know their their living is based on selling and that's exactly what they do. Imagine these are the perfect kind of people that we want in our business. Okay. But majority of the times, 95% of the network marketers, they won't even bother speaking to these people and they will miss out on these opportunities, okay? And a lot of times people ask me, Cameron, I, know, I, 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 I missed out on, uh, I mean, my contact list is down. I, I tried everyone in my whole market. You know, things are not working out for me. What am I supposed to do? My whole market is finished. How do I get people on board? Now, here's the key, guys. When I got involved with network marketing myself, now my, my own market, cause I was not successful myself personally, I was not from a professional background, guys, and guess what happened? Majority of the people that I knew, they were not from professional backgrounds as well. They were not open-minded, they were not just successful, and they were not entrepreneurial mind. They didn't have the entrepreneurial mindset. They were not risk takers, because successful people are risk takers. Imagine people like insurance broker, people like mortgage broker, a real estate agent. You know, if they don't sell, that means they're risking their livelihood. So if they don't sell, they don't make money because they get paid in commissions. 
but they make really, really good money because that's what they do every single day. And today I want to share with you guys how I personally recruit these people, how I personally prospect these people and attract them to get on board. Now, one of the first key things we need to do is we are not going to prejudge these people because, like I said, if you don't prejudge them, we are already separating ourselves from 95% of the network marketers who don't want to approach these people. So myself, I will, I will go out and speak to these people and, uh, the, uh, you know, I, I have one question that I ask every single one of them, okay? Now, this is the question that I've been asking from last so many years, last two, three years now since, uh, since I started doing well in the network marketing industry and this is why I started having so much success success in the business guys. Now I know a few of you will try to restructure the question, try to make make the question in your own words guys and I can tell you right now, if you try to do that, you're going to fall flat on your face because it's not going to work. So many people have tried that before to, to, you know, to put, put this question in their own words but it's not worked for them. Okay, because we've, you know, I've, I've learned this on the best of the best. So I want you guys to, to copy and paste the same question and use the same question that most importantly practice the same question every single day. Because like I always say guys, practice makes a man not perfect but better. Because practice is the price that amateurs pay to become professional every single day. So now, what is the question that I always ask people? Now I'm going to write this question down for you and then I'll give you guys examples, couple of examples that I've done in last week or so that I met people and how I approached them and what I was said to them. And it's so, so simple. And this is the question guys. This is why I ask these people a question. So he says, do you at all keep your, I hope you can see this, options open in terms of making money outside of what you are already doing in your current profession. That's the question I ask guys and this is the question that has led me to so many people and because of this question that I've been asking people. Now in this business alone, I've got an organization of nearly 15,000 people in, in literally five to, I mean literally nine to ten months time period. And I'll be, I'm sure that this is the question, if you can copy and duplicate, you guys will be having even double the amount of results that I have in your businesses guys. And it doesn't matter what network marketing company you're from, you can benefit from this question as long as you use this in, in the right way, okay? Now I'll give you a few examples, okay? Now I'll give you an example of uh, like last week, okay. So last week I went to this. Um, no, I, went, I went to uh, Birmingham City Centre. I, I just grabbed a coffee from Starbucks, and I was and I obviously usual mocha because I love mocha. So I grabbed a coffee, and I was on my way back, and I saw this real estate agent office. I said, okay, uh, let's go and have some fun. So I went in there. I just grabbed grabbed this business card, and I came out, okay. And on my way home, I was not even literally. I didn't even go home yet. On my way home, I pulled my phone out. I rang that guy. I said, and the guy's name was Gary. And I said, hi, is Gary in? And he said, yes, it's Gary speaking. How can I help? And I said, hey Gary, it's Cameron Abbasi here. Now, you know, you don't know me, but I just got your, I've just got your business card in my hand. And I've seen that you, you're quite active in the real estate business in this area. And he said, yeah, I'm doing amazingly well. Thank you very much, Cameron. So are you looking for some house or something? Uh, are you looking for a house? Are you looking for a room? I said, uh, to be honest, I'll be quite honest to you, Gary. You know, and the reason I'm, I'll be completely honest to you, Gary. The reason I'm bringing you today is because I'm a successful entrepreneur. And I'm actually expanding my company in this area, okay? And I'm looking for some, uh, in fact, I'm, I, I exclusively work with, uh, with, uh, with smart, open-minded, and, and super sharp people, okay? Now, I've got a really simple question for you, Gary. You know, do you at all keep your options open in terms of making money outside of what you're already doing in your real estate business? And guess what he said to me? Yes, of course. yes I do. I said, awesome Gary, as for the address that I can see in the card, I can see that you don't live far, I mean your office is not far from here. So when is the soonest we can meet up, when is the soonest we can sit together so I can show you the official material? Now here's the term that I used is official material. I did not set the presentation, I did not set that I'm going to show you the opportunity. I said, when is the soonest we can sit together so I can show you the official material? Guess what happened? I mean, we arranged a meeting for Friday, I went to see him on Friday, I signed him up, and then I signed him up on the same day. Like on the spot, I signed the guy up. Now how did I knew this guy? I never met this guy. I just ran in his office, I came out of my, I came out of my comfort zone, I, I picked the card and I signed the guy up. 
Similarly, there's so many other examples that, uh, I mean, that's happened to me. Now, okay, let me be completely honest to you guys here. It doesn't happen all the time that I can sign guys on spot like that, okay? For example, I was speaking to this, uh, another lady, okay? Now, this lady was an uh, insurance broker, okay? Now, uh, you know, they had this little stall in the, in the city center itself, and I started talking to the lady. I said, you know what? I, I really love what you're doing, and you know, it's, it's literally inspirational, and you know, um, do you have a business card? You know, I might be able to help you in the future. You know, uh, regarding, I might be able to pass you some leads, etc., etc. And I, got, I grabbed that card, and you know, on my way, because she was giving cards out to everyone, so she didn't remember my face. So uh, on my way home, I didn't even go home, and I, I, I said to the lady, you know, I gave her a call. I said, Hey, is it Jane I'm speaking to? He said, Yes, it's Jane. How can I help you? Jen, again, the same thing. He said, Jane, it's Cameron and Bassi here. You don't know me, but I've seen you. Uh, you know, I've uh, just got a business card of you, okay? And I've seen you. You know, you are, you're super active in what you're doing in terms of your in terms of your insurance sales. And I can see you putting a laugh at it, and I can see you're a committed person. And he said, oh, thank you very much. Yes, I, I said, how long have you been doing this for, Jen, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I've been doing this for 15, 20 years now. I said, amazing, Jen, do you know what? I, I love your enthusiasm, and I can see your passion for what you're doing. And you know, and let me be completely honest to you, Jen, the reason I'm bringing you right now is because I'm a successful entrepreneur, and I'm actually expanding my company in this area, and I'm looking to, I, I exclusively work with success, I exclusively work with super sharp people who are smart and open-minded, you know, and here's a simple question for you, Jen. Are you open, I mean, do you at all keep your options open to make extra income, I mean, to make um, 